A 7 News alert. The Colorado House giving final approval to a bill limiting the capacity of ammunition magazines. It now heads to the governor's desk where it's expected to be signed into law. Lawmakers deciding to keep negotiating a bill uh, to expand the background check requirements to include most private and online gun sales. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez talking with a Littleton man who's not happy about the ban on high capacity magazines. Lance, he's pushing to let voters decide. Mike, Tim LeVere and his friend JT Davis want to change the state constitution to give people a right to purchase and possess high capacity magazines. Now, Levere has submitted a proposal to the Legislative Council. He says lawmakers have overstepped their bounds by trying to limit the size of gun magazines. Personally, I don't think it should be limited at all. However, if it is to be limited, I think that's the right of the people to decide. Tim Levere supports some of the gun control measures, like universal background checks, but not all of them. Some of it is very reasonable and and I applaud the legislature's efforts. Uh, I just want to rein in where I thought they overstepped their bounds. One of those places, he says, is the ban on high capacity gun magazines. Well, God bless him for trying. Senator I mean, Greg Brophy they... credits Levere and JT Davis for trying to undo what he considers bad legislation, but says it's a Second Amendment right and that neither they nor lawmakers should be involved. I still see this as a constitutional issue, and the people and, and, uh, and um, the legislature shouldn't be banning firearms that are commonly used by law-abiding citizens. That's their constitutional right. Representative Rhonda Phil sponsored the bill to ban high-capacity magazines. magazines. She says people have a right to try to put the issue to a vote, but she adds that polls show 62 percent of Coloradans support a ban. And that's why I ran this bill, because I know what kind of devastation high-capacity magazines have when someone tries to kill as many people as they want to in a theater. Now, Levere says he'll have to collect 100,000 signatures to get the issue on the ballot. If voters approve it, it wouldn't take effect until 2014. I'm Lance Hernandez in the 7 Newsroom.